All right, so next with microbial nutrition, and really what we're talking more about here, implicating bacteria, is going to be in how those bacteria grow, all right? And in terms of bacterial growth, those bacteria divide by, um, Goodness, started with the wrong letter. By binary fission. All right? And I've got a video later that's going to talk more about binary fission specifically. But what affects the ab ability of bacteria to grow are a lot of environmental factors. All right? Number one in that is temperature. All right? Bacteria are going to have an optimum temperature where they'll grow. If you're taking microbiology lab, that optimum temperature tends to be right around 36, 37 degrees Celsius, all right? Which is about body temperature, all right? And in terms of that, we've got some different classifications with temperature, all right? And the bacteria, okay? They can be These are the ones, I, I always call these the crazy ones. These are the um, psycho psychophiles. They're not really crazy, but these are going to be the bacteria that do best in cold environments. So their optimum growth is going to happen at temperatures that are typically at or below freezing. So if you've ever been skiing and you see um, some kind of red or pink in and along the snow, that's a type of red algae. And that actually blooms in the cold, all right? It needs that cold environment in order to grow. That's why you see the pink on the snow, but you won't see it in the summer if you go to those same areas because those bacteria um, become dormant, essentially. They aren't able to grow in the warmer temperatures, all right? The second one, is going to be the mesophile, all right? And in terms of that, I'm going to call this body temp. Your book is going to have a range in there, and that range is fine. That's normal, all right? The mesophiles, these typically are the pathogens that can infect our bodies. Most pathogens are mesophiles. They grow really well at body temperature. So that body temperature tends to range in and around 36 to 37 degrees Celsius, which is what you're growing the bacteria at in lab, okay? Now, not all the bacteria you're growing in lab are pathogens. There are a number of bacteria that grow within our body, like E. coli, that's part of our normal flora. It's also a mesophile. It grows best at essentially body temperature, all right? Um, and then we've got bacteria that are thermophiles, OK? These are bacteria that grow at very high temperatures. So if you've ever been to Yellowstone, and they've got all those wonderful um, pits that turn all different colors, um, the sulfur pots, you've got a whole microbial community that's growing within there. Those are thermophiles, okay? And in terms of that, one thermophile I always like to kind of bring to your attention um, because this has been used in various biotechnology applications. All right, there is a protein called TAC polymerase. That TAC polymerase is essentially an enzyme that will replicate DNA. So the bacteria that live in those high temperature environments, those thermophilic environments, have adapted 
their proteins so they don't denature at high temperatures. That TAC polymerase can be used to replicate DNA. If you've heard about PCR, um, that PCR stands for polymerase chain reaction. That's a type of biotechnology that is used in order to amplify very, very small pieces of DNA. All right? It can be used in the context of things like crime scenes. If there's a small amount of blood, they can use that TAC polymerase to amplify that DNA in that small sample so that they can determine essentially who the criminal was in the case of a crime scene. It's also more commonly used in research labs when you need to be able to replicate DNA. All right. So in terms of that, te the temperature um, for those enzymes has adapted or evolved to go at high temperatures. Likewise, mesophiles are going to have an ideal temperature that they're going to work at. So are the psychophiles. Okay. So in terms of that, temperature can really influence how the bacteria grow. If you have a mesophile and you put up that mesophile at 50 degrees, which would be a high temperature, all right, it's not going to grow because its enzymes are going to denature. It's not going to be able to carry out basic cellular processes. It won't survive to undergo binary fission. Okay, same thing for a psycho, uh, psychophile. If you bring that up to body temperature, those bacteria are not going to grow. All right, if you go to colder temperatures, usually what will happen if you grow a thermophile at body temperature. You may get a little bit of growth, but it would be really, really inefficient. Same thing with the mesophiles in the cold. They may grow, they may undergo binary fission, but it's at a much reduced rate. All right. So in terms of that, temperature can really play a role in bacterial cell growth. All right. Next, I'm going to ad address some of the other um, environmental factors on this list. Um, so say 